Hi, this is the Solving for Mass in Potential Energy tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to solve for the mass using the potential energy formula. This will be useful if we have the potential energy, the height, and the gravity of our object, but we do not know the mass. So we got to look for the mass of the object. So let's take a look at our example problem. An automobile is sitting on a hill which is 20 meters higher than ground level. Find the mass of the automobile if it contains 362,600 joules of potential energy. So, like always, our first step is to draw the box. As we can see, we are looking for the mass as if you couldn't get that from the tutorial title, we can find it in the question where it says find the mass of the automobile. So we are going to put a question mark there. Next, we are going to read through our question. 20 is sitting on a hill which is 20 meters higher. So I see 20 meters. Meters means a height or a distance. So it's 20 meters higher than ground level. So I'm going to put 20 for our height, our h value. Then our gravity is always going to be the same on Earth. Gravity is always going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. And finally, 362,600 joules is our potential energy. So we're going to plug 362,600 joules for our PE value. Now again, we have our triangle here, which you've seen in our potential energy video, as well if you've done the gravity video as well. We use this triangle to help us determine our formula dependent on what we are solving for. In order to figure out your formula, you cover up the item that you are looking for. So for instance, we are looking for mass, so we cover that up. So now we know we are looking for potential energy. We have our potential energy, our gravity, and our height. So how we would write this is we follow what we have. Potential en mass equals potential energy. Since potential is energy is at the top, we would put that on our top. Divided by, this is due to the line here, separating our levels gravity times height. If they're on the same level, we're going to multiply them. If they're on different levels, we are going to divide them. So, PE equals gravity times height. So now that we got our formula, we plug it into our formula box, we pull it up, we substitute our numbers. The first thing we're going to do is multiply according to our order of operations. So 9.8 meters per second times 20 meters. We're going to get 196. Then we are going to take 362,600 joules and divide it by 196. This will get us 1,850. So we pull that down into our answer box and I attach our unit, the kilogram. So we just solved for the mass of our automobile being 1,850 kilograms. So I hope you've learned how to solve for mass using our potential energy formula. You may take a look at the other tutorials to help you figure out how to solve for other things using the potential energy formula. Thank you and have a nice night.